Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I got an email from Ukraine about how do I fix an Edison diaphragm in a Model C or an H. Now I'm going to show you a few things about this. My angel will come up closely. This is a cleaned one, and this is usually what you find. To clean this, I have found that using sudsine ammonia, I stick it in an old canning jar like this, and you just stick it in there, leave it for 24 hours, pull it out, get a toothbrush, and just scrub it like this. And then more and more and more of this dirt and crud will come off your diaphragm. Now another thing is, how do I know that this diaphragm is good? Well, you can hold the diaphragm up to a light and see if there's a pinhole in it. And this one does have a pinhole in it. And you can see, yeah, you yeah. see the pinhole? Mm -hmm. Now this diaphragm can be safe. Especially if you live in Ukraine. Especially if you live in Ukraine. What you can do is you can take a very like a sewing needle or a scribe that I use, and you can put a little bit of super glue, fingernail polish, or shellac on the end of that. And then you, what you have to do is you have to mark where the pinhole is, and I can see it right there. And you're just going to take a little bit of that and fill that little hole. Then you're going to let that dry, and then you're going to retest to the light or the flashlight. And that way you can save this diaphragm. Because this diaphragm, say in the United States, is $20. And then you have shipping to Ukraine and everything else. Now you have a $60 diaphragm. There's no need to spend 60 bucks. You can fix this at home. This won't hurt the weight. But what that hole does is the sound waves bounce off this, off the diaphragm, and then reverberate out through the horn and make the sound. Well, if you have a bad, you have a hole in it, the sound waves go away. It's the same way we do a blow test on an orthophonic reproducer. You can do a blow test on any reproducer and know if you have an air leak. You have, you have to get rid of the air leaks to get proper sound. And that's my tip for you.